is the n type section of the jena doubt is connected to a register in series with the jena doubt second point of the register is connected to the milli ampere meter and uh, then second end of the ammeter going to negative of the supply n with negative mean forward biasing the jena doubt the p section is connected to the directly to the p type sorry p of the supply that mean the forward biasing again then a voltmeter is connected as to measure the voltage given to the jena doubt okay so jena doubt is made forward bias now we are we vary the voltage we will vary voltage and we are measuring the current so we are varying voltage we are measuring current then we are having the data voltage versus current of the jena doubt when forward biased so this is the circuit diagram of the pn junction which is made forward biased now 10 division of the voltmeter is equals to 2.5 volt we calculate one division that is 0.25 volt then 10 division of the milli ampere meter it is equals to 2.5 milli ampere and one division equals to 0.25 milli ampere so uh, we put the data on the graph voltage along the x axis current along the y axis so graph is a it is a curve and uh, well, we are not taking the error into consideration so this is a just a rough work not a exactly a precise curve because uh, the error bar are not taken into account so this is a vo volt this doubt across doubt the voltage is vd the v is the voltage of the battery the current is passing to rl the voltage is i into rl now applying the gauge of flow v equals to the doubt voltage plus i into r first of all we consider that uh, if the doubt voltage is equals to zero the voltage across the doubt is zero okay then what happen now the the problem is uh, this is this is a jena doubt which is forward biased and uh, so if we like uh, again if we set the voltage is equals to 10 volt then without shortening the doubt the current is 8.25 milliampere now this the doubt this is the current which is flowing with the jena doubt now if you if we make the jena doubt shorted that uh, then what happen the current becomes 9 milliampere by shortening the jena doubt mean uh, there is no jena because the cur whole current is passing through the that shortening circuit so the current becomes maximum that is 9 milliampere so now second if we if the circuit is broken then i becomes zero then why i becomes zero the voltage is equals to the 10 volt now the problem is how we draw the load line of the doubt mean actually it is a doubt but practically we are using the jena doubt there's no problem because jena doubt is made forward biased so this is the circuit diagram across the jena is uh, the the voltage of the battery is 10 volt let the doubt is such that the voltage across the doubt becomes 0.8333 volt 
and our RL which which is chosen here for experimental setup it is 10 over 9 kilo ohm now the current flowing becomes 2.8 sorry 8.25 milliampere with 8.25 the voltage across the load resistance becomes 9.16 volt 9.16 plus 0.8333 volt becomes equals to 10 Now applying the Kirchhoff law, that V equals to the diode voltage plus I into RL, the voltage across the load. Now when I is equals to 0, then V becomes equals to VD and that is it is equals to the 10 volt. This is our first point and it is, uh, this is the first point and it is taken on the X axis on the graph. It will be taken on the X axis on the graph. Look here that this this the 10 volt is here this is a point now we consider vd equals to 0 how by shortening the diode Then whole current pass through the whole current passes through the that the that through this line. No current will pass through the Gina diode now or the simple diode. In the diagram it is shown the simple, but practically we are using the Jaina diode. V becomes equals to I into RL, I becomes I becomes 9 milliampere. This is a point B on the Y axis. Now joining the two points, so that's a straight line. So this is called the load line. Again the equation by using the Kirchhoff law just rearranging the terms rearranging So V upon RL is constant. So this is the slope of the line. And minus sign mean it is a negative slope. And this slope depend upon the value of the RL. That's why it is called the load line because the slope depends upon RL which is the load resistance. So this, the name is given to the line as the load line. So 
So compare this equation with y equals to mx plus c, which is the equation of a straight line. Then this equation shows that, uh, that if a graph is plotted between current I and the doubt voltage Vd, that comes, that comes out a straight line exactly with negative slope as Vd along x-axis and I along y-axis, then the negative slope which depends upon the RL. Okay, fine. Thank you.